Johns Hopkins astrophysicist Charles Bennett is the principal investigator of the groundbreaking Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe Satellite Space Mission, also known as WMAP. Using WMAP, Bennett and his team peered back 13.7 billion years at the most ancient light in the universe. The objective of WMAP was really to pin down the universe, to learn uh, what it's made of, what its shape is, uh, uh, what its age is, all, all these fundamental properties about the universe. And we knew that the way to do this was to make a map of the sky uh, measuring something that we call the cosmic microwave background. This is a, an afterglow radiation left over from the uh, very early universe. So by measuring the afterglow light in all directions of the sky, we basically have a, a picture of, of what the universe was like. From this image, what amounts to the infant universe's first baby picture, Bennett and his team were able to determine the composition of the universe with unprecedented precision. It turns out that the ingredients of our universe are in some ways surprising. Uh, we are made of atoms, the Earth is made of atoms, almost everything we encounter is made of atoms, but atoms are only 4.6% of the universe. The next bigger category is something called dark matter. That's about 22% of the universe. But the lion's share of the universe, about 73%, is what we call dark energy. And this is uh, some kind of energy associated with an anti-gravity. This uh, is actually uh, causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. That snapshot of the very young universe also revealed something intriguing about its shape. What is the shape of the space that we're in? Um, it, it is hard to imagine, but we find that the universe is very close to what we call flat. WMAP's data also confirmed predictions about what happened within the universe's first trillionth of a second when it grew from subatomic to astronomical in size in less time than it takes to blink your eye, a theory called inflation. What we're talking about is space itself inflating. Uh, the idea of inflation, as strange as it sounds, is that the universe began with a presumably spontaneous quantum fluctuation. And this provides a mechanism to begin the universe and get the Big Bang expansion going. Thanks in large part to Bennett and WMAP, scientists can now describe the universe's birth and first moments with the kind of precision once reserved for experiments conducted in laboratories. WMAP has uh, made a transformational difference in our understanding of the universe.